was extremely lucky to attend Becoming a Successful Immigrant Woman Fireside Chat series organized by IWB, that is Immigrant Women in Business. Immigrant Women in Business is a nonprofit bringing immigrant women from all over the world together to help each other, support each other, grow together, and really get help them climatize themselves in, in Canada and, and help them do the Canadian way type of thing. How many members do you have right now? Oh, she's, well, she's got 67 different countries that are founding members. The format of such meetings is simple. Successful women, as well as women at the beginning of their career paths, share their true stories of success and what challenges or barriers they faced and overcame. Here, everybody is ready to help and support and just motivate you to keep moving towards your professional goals and dreams. I just see these women coming together, genuinely trying to help others. No hidden agenda. Honestly, you know, we men have this hidden agenda and there's egos involved sometimes and everything else. Women have none of that. They're just looking to help. If they need help, they ask for help. And if, if someone needs help, they want to help them. So I just love coming to these meetings, hearing the stories, overcoming unbelievable challenges that they've overcome. And I just get inspired every time I come. We all know a statement. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. But I would actually rephrase it in the opposite way. Behind every great woman, there is always a man. Sometimes it is really a great man who supports morally and financially, like in the examples of Svetlana Ratnikova, CEO of Immigrant Women in Business, and Ifoma Gudike, Alberta chapter president. So it's always a, a, a pleasure to come out to an event like this and just speak with people and share energy, even if you just show up and stay quiet. Today we're talking about um, the immigrant women experience, like successful immigrant women. Here we have a lot of successful immigrant women. One of the speakers was Marion Balagan, who came to Canada three years ago and was emotionally abused in the relationships. She decided to describe her experience in the book called The Different Faces of Narcissism, How to Recognize, Neutralize and Protect Yourself from Toxic People Disguised as Friends. And to her big surprise, the book became number one in abuse and self-defense section on Amazon. We're all here today to talk about our stories and then we hope that our stories can help somebody start a new business, turn a new chapter, um, write a book, <laughs> write a book or, you know, come out and say something that might be happening to them that they're too scared to talk about. When I was writing this book, I, I, I kept saying like I had so much doubt, I kept saying what if it's not received? What if they're like, what the heck? What does she know about writing? But I'm so surprised the response to this book. When I say, I don't even care about the money. I just care about the fact that people are able to read it and then use my experience to protect themselves. Marion was not the only member who presented their book that day. The main guest in Toronto and actually one of the founding members and president for the Alberta chapter, Ifoma Gudike, announced the release of her book, Successful Immigrant Women. My book, The Successful Immigrant Woman, is definitely a book that celebrates success uh, for immigrant women, but also letting immigrant women know that they already have what they need to be successful and then helping them to kind of dig into that and also begin to leverage that advantage they have as immigrants. What, in your opinion, are key factors for a successful woman? Key principles of success is actually clarity. So being very clear on your purpose, having that mindset that you, you will be successful, but defining for yourself what success is and just laser focusing on that um, once you do that, there will be obstacles, there will be barriers, but you know where you're going. So whether there is detours, um, whatever comes your way, you know where you're going. But then the other secret is making sure that you have a strong support system, right? So because no man is an island, no woman <laughs> is an island, right? So even though you may know where you're going, sometimes most times you actually need the right kind of help and support to be able to get there, to be able to work on the right hard thing. Being an immigrant woman myself, I was listening to stories of success with great attention and respect. 
All these meetings are important and helpful. They make us stronger. These gatherings wouldn't be possible without Svetlana Ratnikova, who actually became a true motivator and creative leader for all of us. So, Svetlana, what are you thinking about today's event? Was it a success? We make it success, always. We bring smiles, our energy, uh, our enthusiasm. At the end of the day, that's the most valuable, that's what we had. That spark in our heart and desire to give. Are you happy? I'm always happy, but I'm very happy when I provide value to people. And I know those meaningful relationships that built today, they're going to contribute to the positive growth for their people, for their families, and for the society. So let's believe in ourselves and in people around us. We are stronger!